what are equations? So in everything we've looked at so far, for algebra, we haven't been able to solve for our prime numeral. We've added and subtracted, multiplied and divide our algebraic terms, but we haven't actually done any solving. All we've done so far is simplify our terms. And we actually call what we've done so far algebraic expressions, and they can only be simplified. Equations, though, can be solved, and we can actually figure out what the variable is going to be. And to solve equations, we're going to need to do our opposite operation. So let's learn about our opposite operation. So the opposite to addition is subtraction. The opposite to subtraction is addition. The opposite to multiplication is division. And the opposite to division is multiplication. So it's really important we know this, and we're going to use this information to solve our equations. Let's have a look at a really simple one. x plus 1 equals 3. Now, this is an equation because it has an equal sign. Okay, so this, with the equal sign there, we now have an equation. If it was something like before, like we are just looking at 2x plus x, that's what we call an expression, because there's no equal sign. And expressions can only be simplified. But equations can be solved. You might even already know the answer to this one, because it's you know, something plus 1 has to equal 3. But to solve it, to solve it properly, we're going to have to do our opposite operations. So the opposite of adding 1 would be subtracting 1. And think, think of an equation as a perfectly balanced seesaw where the middle of the seesaw, so let's say we have our seesaw here, the middle of the seesaw is like the equal sign. So if I'm taking off one on the left side of the seesaw, I need to take off one off the right side of the seesaw. And what happens here, one minus one gives us zero, and we're just left with the x, and always write the equal sign under the equal sign, and three minus one is two. And that should make sense, because if x equals two, two, plus 1 equals 3.